Hey, what's up everybody? Good morning. So, this is me in the morning time, no makeup, and I am about to record. I set the timer for 10 minutes, and this is what I do in the morning. I'm not saying you adapt this exact routine. I wanna just show you the way I do my makeup because I get so many questions on it for one. For two, I want you to know that it's possible that you can do your makeup in 10 minutes. Now, I've already washed my face, put on my moisturizer, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply the foundation. And you know what? One thing about this, I was looking, I'm like, it looks like I'm like fast forwarding. I'm not, I just move fast. And I suggest, as a working woman, your time is valuable, you learn how to move fast. Don't look at this and say, oh, I can't move that fast, or that's just not how I do. Like, adapt it. It's a skill that I learned how to do. I did not grow up a makeup maven. I've learned how to do it. Like, my life depended on it because I wanted to feel a certain way. And so, I want you to pick up things and notice what I'm doing. This is just my morning thing. I'm a makeup artist. I can go give you a detail, you know, super long makeup routine. But this is me. This is just me, the working woman with my morning, not having all the time in the world. So you notice I'm just applying my foundation and I've already put on my moisturizer. I'm gonna go ahead and brush my eyebrows in shape. Because it gets a little wild and all that brushing the foundation on, you know, disperses the eyebrows. So now I'm gonna put on my concealer. This is very important for me so I'm just going about choosing things on my face that I think are important. You have to figure out what you think is important. So now I'm going to go underneath my brow and I'm going to just line it with the concealer. This is going to highlight it. I love this because it makes your eyebrows look so pulled together and I always do it. I'm going down the bridge of my nose and just adding some concealer on my forehead. This is the morning rushed version of contouring your face. This is not a detailed contour tutorial. I'm slimming my nose just a little bit so that it has some depth. Not necessarily slimming because I don't care about it being slim, but I, when I realize how contouring makes it have depth, that's what I did. I just go down the sides of my nose. Again, this is not a detailed version of contouring, but this is my morning. This is what I do, and I want you to understand it. You can do this too. So now I'm taking my beauty blender and I'm blending. Blending is everything in makeup. Um, everything I'm using right now is pro long wear, which means it lasts for the longer, um, like they say 15 hours, 17 hour days. Um, everything I use, the concealer, the foundation, even my eyeshadow, everything's pro long wear. So like if you have oily skin, um, it helps it stay on longer. So with my moisturizer I put on first, and then I use a translucent powder to set it, um, all, and a primer, all these things help it stay on longer. That's important when you're moving this fast, you need to have good products. Don't, you know, drugstore stuff, I, you know, not against it, but I buy stuff that lasts a long time. So now I'm just blending in the concealers. And you have to go through and get your rhythm. Like I'm, this is my rhythm. And you'll pick that up once you get started. I'm going to go in and fill in my brow with just a soft brown powder. And just my, my ends of my eyebrows kind of disappear. So now that the concealer's there, it's easy for me to just go and boom, just fill in the, the sparse areas. And it looks like I kind of spent time on my eyebrows when I really didn't. Just little things that I do in the morning. Blend a little more. I love the Beauty Blender. That's what that is called. You can Google it. You can order it online. They're amazing. You can get them at Sephora, at Forever 21. I mean, they have them everywhere now. Um, makeup stores. And I think even some CVS is having them. So I just put on Urban Decay Potion Primer, which holds your eyeshadow. And then I have a Pro Long Wear, just a nude color eyeshadow that I'm just gonna rub all over my entire eyelid. Like I said, this is not like a what I would do as a makeup artist per se. Um, this is just what I do to my face in the morning. And I wear this look to makeup gigs, to 
whatever like this is you know it's acceptable and I'm moving fast because you need to move fast and I want you to know that you can adapt that once you understand makeup application that's the part that I see women um, ask me the most questions because they don't understand the way you apply the eyeshadow the way that you apply the concealer the way that you blend it in so I just basically been blended a nude color all over my lid I use my crease as my guideline and now I'm gonna put on Lancome Hypnos Drama Mascara I am hitting the things that are important to me so I love to have my concealer I love my lashes to be in place and I love lipstick so I'm putting on my mascara now and this is a true morning for me I was rushing to go see a client I'm like let me turn on this camera and do this 10 minute face so that my clients can see that it's possible oh my god I'm addicted to this mascara I wish I sold it because I'm always selling it and <laughs> telling people to go buy it get the bottom lashes if you like I'm not crazy crazy about bottom mascara because I am so forgetful I always rub my eyes crazy and then there's freaking mascara all over but it's preference I love blush I have some clients who are deathly afraid of blush because their grandmother used to put lipstick on their cheeks or something but me I love blush it makes you look awake it warms up the cheek you look you know just sun-kissed so I'm putting on a blush I'm gonna put on some lipstick this is a NARS lip pencil I love them because they last for hours again it's like a $24 pencil I think but it's worth it because honey it lasts it's a cute red lip nothing major so we have like three minutes left that's insane so I'm going to I could literally, literally just go and be done but I'm going to put on some white liner because that opens up your eyes and makes you look more alert it's an old Hollywood thing we've been doing for since forever and I love that. Now I'm gonna put on some bronzer, just a little shimmer, cause I'm in California and I like to look, sh you know, shimmery. I don't know, I love glitter. <laughs> it's not glitter, but it has a, a nice bronzed look and it makes your skin look like it's glowing. And I'm typically using MAC products cause I'm a MAC girl. I hate that I am always promoting them. Once again, they don't pay me, but their products are quality and uh, yeah, I love it. So now I'm using a translucent powder to set the concealer that you saw me put underneath my eyes earlier. And I am moving fast, yes, because I want you to see in real time what I do in the morning. But you can pause this video and do this with me. Like, pause it, put your foundation on. Pause it, put on your eyebrows. Pause it, you know, put on your concealer. So we still have time. This is still, I like a little more blush. <laughs> this is still enough time to maybe add a black wing liner to go back and blend some more my camera wasn't picking up there you go I have two minutes I don't know if you can see that now it's one minute and 57 so I still have time but I'm complete like I'm easy I don't think that your makeup should be complicated every day like who wants to go outside looking like Kim Kardashian every day in the real world now you have some ladies who do that that's their job they love to look like that whatever me I want to give it you know 15 minutes and I'm out the door so an important thing that you can do if your skin is oily is put that translucent powder on before you put on your foundation and when you put on your foundation give it a second to set you know give it like literally 30 seconds go do something like your lips or something like that um, so that it can set a little bit but I'm done and there's still time and I'm talking, but I cut my voice out because people were talking to me that morning. <laughs> so I still have time. You can't really see it. But what you do see is that your face can be done in 10 minutes. Let's see what I'm talking about here. <laughs> it's still going and I'm ready to go. Like this is what I do every morning. If you really enjoyed this video and you saw how simple it is, 10 minutes guys give yourself 10 minutes so that you, when you walk out that door you feel amazing like this is my every morning routine i don't really do a lot um yeah that's it i love a good lipstick and some nice lashes honey and the rest is easy so i want you to figure out what your morning routine is what's your 10 minute situation like what is it oh 
Timer's done. So it's like, what is it that you have to have um, so that you feel amazing? I'm all about us feeling confident. And um, you may have all the confidence in the world, but when you have a beat face, honey, you feel even more confident. You can walk into that meeting, you can walk into work, and you just feel good. I wanna hear your thoughts, I wanna hear your comments, ask questions, ask why I did something, so that you can take the information that you've just seen and apply it to your face, to your morning routine. That's how you learn. You see what I do, I'll show you what I do in the morning that takes me 10 minutes, and then you go, okay, which of these things apply to me? What can I do better? How can I take that and put my own spin on it? That's the best way to learn. I really enjoy doing these videos and teaching you how to perfect what it is that you're already doing or pick up a new uh, routine that you haven't been doing. So give yourself 10 minutes this morning and I want you to feel and look as amazing as you are. Don't forget to ask questions below. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve this for yourself. Thanks for watching. Now I want you to sing this like you mean it. Check it out, ladies. Strong.